two National League teams. It'll be the Chicago Cubs and the Colorado Rockies. Ready to go on 2K Sports. A bat that means thump. Matt Kemp, can he thump today? Let's go get him. A great afternoon for baseball here in the Rocky Mountains. This is Coors Field, home of the Rockies. 2K Sports presents Major League Baseball Sunday afternoon. The starting pitcher will be Steven Strasburg. As he gets going against these Cub hitters, what's in store? Well, it's a phenomenal lineup right here. That's why this outstanding right-hander is going to have to be on top of his game to be able to neutralize some of their big bats and get the outs he needs. He has to work ahead in the count or they'll make him pay. Here's the lineup for the Cubbies. Now, some kind of offense right here. Star-studded lineup and really great length and depth with guys that really could put the ball in play. Hanson has a turn in the box. Well, the Rockies with the loss last night. Well, you uh, could say they are anti-dustbuster mode. No sweeps. They'll try and grab the uh, third of three here against the Cubs. Well, and this is one of those ball clubs that they, they'll win some and then they'll lose some. Strasburg delivers the 1-0 pitch. And they call it a strike. They're going to ask for the appeal to go to the first base umpire. Just a little too much on the swing. The strike is called. Here's the 1-1. Not going to go after that curveball, but it's in the zone. One ball, two strikes. This team 5-5 five and five now through the last 10. Well, this is a team that's looking for some sort of spark, like a catalyst, to try to heat things up to get on a winning streak. Ball two. Outside, 2-2 two and two now. On the way. Ball three. Low and a bit outside for a ball. Three and two now. They thought maybe the hitter was going to open up the plate. They went with the soft pitch, the curveball, down and away, but he couldn't chase. Three, two on the way. Ball four. And with that pitch, he allows that leadoff runner on. Free pass. Boy, how many times have we seen the leadoff walk come around to score? A lot. Well, you just saw a great deal of plate discipline right there on the hitter. Maybe a little fatigue on the pitcher's part. They're not used to throwing that many pitches in one at bat, but the hitter wins it and gets that base on balls. And Santos is batting. No one out and a runner on first. He's running. And he is safe at second. Oh, big mistake. He's going for third. And he throws it away, and everybody's safe. At the belt, the 1 0. Strike fastball one. waved at, missed 1 0 1. The best pitch in baseball is the fastball down and away, and if you can execute it, you can be very effective. That's why he got the swing and the miss. Hit hard on the ground to short. Out number one in this one. Now let's take a look at how the Rockies will line up defensively. And uh, scouting those fielders, John. Well, Buster Posey, Gary, I mean, you talk to pitchers around baseball, when they say, look, I don't have to shake this kid off, that tells you that they have the utmost confidence in him. He's a natural leader and possesses a strong throwing arm. He's the complete package behind the plate. It's Sosa at the plate. Man on third with one away. And Strasburg can't get him to swing at that one. It's going to be a little bit low. Ball 
Fastball just misses and he falls behind 2 and 0. Oh. Here's the pitch. And he swings and hits this one foul. One pitch. Fastball on the black. He doesn't get the call though, and it's three and one. Well, you've got to be careful right here. Look, you're down in the count three and one. You just can't throw something in there and hope he gets himself out. This guy's too dangerous for that. That misses ball four. Now we're gonna see if we'll get some motion on the base pass. He went with a fastball and three ball count, which is what you want to do most often. He just couldn't throw strike. Still in the early part of the season, let's take a look at where the Chicago Cubs rank in the National League. First in batting average, first in home runs, and the number two team in triples showing that speed, that power, and that aggressiveness that they have as a team. Well, we're going to take a look here, see if they try to steal the runner from first base. Have some speed over there, we'll see if they try to get two in scoring position. Well, one started off the at-bat, it's 1-0. Pauses and now the 1-0. Fastball misses badly. He's behind 2-0. Here's the pitch. And Wilson lets it go for a ball inside. A lot of managers are hesitant to turn their guys loose 3-0. But I say let it fly. This might be the best pitch he sees in the hole at bat. Ball four, that's going to load the bases. He goes with the fastball on the three ball count, which is what he should do here. Be aggressive, but he throws it out of the zone, and now base is loaded. Well, this is where Steven Strasburg really has to work and find some way to make a big pitch. And you can see he's trying to keep his composure out there, dealing with this bases loaded situation and a one away. That's a tough situation. He can't walk a batter, but he also can't be too aggressive, throwing it over the heart of the plate, give up a home run. Tough work ahead. First pitch is a changeup, looked at 0 and 1. And here's the 0-1 from Strasburg. That's in the dirt. He traps it. Swung on, line to right field. And that looks like an RBI and a single. There's two. So that's going to bring in two. By a tremendous clutch hit right there. This was his opportunity to deliver for his team with this big two RBI single. And that could be the deciding fact in this game right now with the way the pitching has been. And we've got Sandberg batting. Now this offense, Steve, it's on the move, and now they're trying to carry this on in the ballgame. Well, that's a good piece of hitting right there to take an early lead in this game. Ball. That one's going to be outside. Ball one. It's very early, so it may not stand up, but uh, far better to be playing with the edge. Well, that's right, Gary. They're going to try to use that edge to add some padding to this lead. Strasburg delivers oh. the 1-0 pitch. 1-0 pitch is a fastball high, 2-0. Got to really credit the way this offense is working the count here in the first inning. They understand the game decided by middle relievers today. They may get the starter out early. He deals. He looks at that fastball. Called strike. Two and one. He's just popping that glove with that four-seam fastball. Pounding the strike zone. Now the 2-1 pitch. Swing and a rocket towards short. Ramirez for one. 
And he's going to hang on to it. No relay. So they will not get the double play. And here in the early part of the season, we have a look at the Central Division standings brought to you by State Farm. First place, the Cubs. In the second spot, it's the Reds. The Brewers, third place. The Pirates, fourth place. Cardinals in the fifth position. And wrapping up the list, the Astros. The well, Chicago Cubs have taken a complete 180 from early in the season. They were awful early, but they are playing good baseball now, back on track, living up to expectations. One zero is a fastball that runs away to an zero. Right. That catches the outside corner, two and one. Uh, you go with the big breaking ball away. It's exactly where you want to go. Set up hard in and go soft away. Nice pitch. He's ready. Strasburg, the 2-1 pitch. Lays off that fastball. It's a call strike, 2-2. Two and two. Foul! It's fouled away. Line towards second. Picked up by Ugla. Throws to first in time. That's three down. And it didn't take long. Our first two runs. First inning. Trouble coming. The Cubs lead it two to nothing. Starting pitcher for the Cubs. Here he is. And Steve, he gets into this Colorado lineup now. What are we going to see? Now this right-hander has quality stuff. And doesn't really matter oftentimes who he's facing. If he executes his pitches and pitches his game, he's got a chance to come out on top. Ball. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. And the bottom half of the first now underway, 1-0 count. Two hits, 13 at bats last year off the Cubs. Ball. Here's the delivery. Fastball misses badly. He's behind 2-0. Three. Hanley stays off that one. Real danger now of walking Ramirez. The last thing you want to do as a pitcher is walk the leadoff hitter in any inning. All that can do is set up bad things for the remainder of that frame. Swing and a shot down the left field line. And he's on. First batter up. That could be a good sign offensively. Pulls into second with that double. So he's in scoring position now with nobody out. Well, this could be a start of a great inning for these guys. You like to swing on this and good hustle also to get the second base. Now, still three outs to go with the man in scoring position. Harper is the batter. Second base occupied. Nobody out yet. Pitch on the way. Makes contact. Uh, it is going to be fouled. That fly ball deep and off to the Foul. left. Here's the pitch. Mm, that's where you want that thing to end up, but it's still one and one. The one one now. Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch, and it's one and two. Ball. Where did that miss? Two and two. At the belt, here's the 2-2 two -two pitch. Swings and grounds this one to the right side. Foul. Spins, checks him at second. Didn't look like he was going to go anywhere that time, so he's easily back. And that 
that is going to be one away and a call third strike sinker. Now two strikes you have to have a defensive approach. You have to try to put the ball in play. Go the other way with it. He just got locked up. Presenting our starting lineup, this is what Jim Tracy's done with the offense. John, who do we keep an eye on? Well, anytime you have a young player who stepped up to be a leader like Buster Posey has done, you have something very, very special. The guy can do a lot of things on a baseball field. What I like, though, is his ability to hit the ball the other way and hit it with power. So many young players, when they came up, they think they have to pull everything in order to produce power, but not Buster Posey. Takes what the pitcher gives him and delivers. The pitch. Ball. And Votto lets it go outside for a ball. Well, guys, a breakout year wouldn't do justice to the year Joey Votto had in 2010. He was unbelievable, putting himself as one of the elite players in the National League. Ready with a 1-0. Right Swing and a miss. Joey Votto can't make contact. That'll even up the count. Votto's number is what John uh, was talking about. 324 average, 37 homers, and 113 RBIs from a guy nobody had even heard of before. Well, led the National League in slugging percentage as well. And, you know, he's kind of growing into this over the last couple of seasons. And, and I, I'll tell you what, he's turned himself into an offensive force and a clutch hitter. And that one swung on and missed by Joey Votto. Got him to chase that ball down and away. Good pitch. Not real good execution by the hitter. Let's take a quick look as the uh, Cubs on the field will line up like this. Right, take a look at this club defensively. The thing to remember is they're ranked in the bottom five for the total number of errors committed. That's a lot of mistakes and a lot of extra base runners and bases that they've given up. Here's a spin and a throw back to second. Just trying to keep him honest over there. The fastball is in there. It's 0-1. He picked up 13 hits and just 23 at bats last year off the Cubs. Here it comes. Got him swinging with that curve. One ball, two strikes. Gonzalez grounds it. Sandberg. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. So they pick up a hit, but leave a man at second and fail to score. Up next, it'll be the Cubs. Another chance for the leadoff hitter coming up in the inning. Baseball in the Rocky Mountains. A refreshing day here at Coors Field. Nice, cool mountain air. Ball. And he misses high. Strasburg unable to get him to chase one. When you throw a two-seam fastball, you want a ground ball, which means you want to throw it to the bottom of the zone. This pitch up could come back to cost him later in the game. The pitch inside with the fastball, 2-0. Oh. Fastball called strike two and one. Some guys really like the low fastball. In this situation, though, he ends up taking the pitch. Here he comes. 2-1 pitch. There's a swing and a miss at the heater. We're even at two. That's foul. Back behind the plate. Swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out, one down. Well, two strikes on the hitter, and he came inside. He just couldn't catch up quickly enough to it. He must have been thinking away. And the upcoming schedule for the Colorado Rockies. This game, the last against the Cubs. They stay home for another team series, the San Francisco Giants. That's a three-game series. 
Following that, they hit the road. Should be a competitive series. The Florida Marlins will be hosting. One out, nobody on. It's now 0 and 1. Watch that fastball go by. Well, climbing the ladder with that four seam fastball, trying to get the hitter to elevate his eyes. He gets the strike on it, and the hitter doesn't pull the trigger. Oh, oh and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch, 1 and 1. Well, that pitch just took off right there and exploded out of the pitcher's hand. Kept it just a little bit inside, though. Tough pitch to hit. Good job by the hitter to lay off. Oh. And he looks at a changeup in the dirt for a ball. Change up, that's going to brush the earth. That's going to be a ball. Here he comes, 3-1. He pours that one in at the letters, full 3-2. Sometimes you get a pitch, and if it's early enough in the count, you can just say, not this one, I'm going to wait for the next one. This one's grounded foul, wide of first. And on that one, he'll up his on-base percentage. That's ball four. Well, his patience really paid off there, and it could pay big dividends now if somebody come up with a big hit. Well, after a long, epic battle, this at-bat ends in a walk? Are you kidding me? Someone should have got struck out or someone should have got a hit, but the hitter will take the walk. Anson is the batter. He walked and later scored his last time through. You've got to keep the opponent close when you're behind. You've got speed on first base. They better keep him close. If he gets in scoring position, it may just add on to this lead. That one misses. It gets away from the catcher. Not sure what he was going for on that one. That's a bad pitch that was down in Mother Earth. Swing and a miss. Struck him out with a breaking ball. Two down. This one tails down. Look at it just dropping off the table right there with a big break at 83 miles per hour. Fantastic piece of pitching to get that out, John. Well, that's the part of pitching you love. He's looking for a fastball. He's expecting a fastball. And then just drop one right off the table. What a pitch. Two outs and a runner on second. First pitch. He chases that one high. Starts out with a strike. Well, climbing the ladder on him right there. He just throws that fastball right by him up in the zone. Ball. And Strasburg can't get him to swing at that one. It's going to be a little bit low. Just off the inside edge, two and one. Now throwing that curveball down and in. He changes speeds to get the hitter off balance, but that pitch down and inside can get hurt if he leaves it hanging over the plate. The two one pitch hits sharply towards the hole. And he'll step on first to retire the side. And heading to the dugout, Steven Strasburg. And he's tightening up. No runs allowed after he gave up two in the first. And next, it'll be the Rockies getting it going. A glimpse of the sun here and there, darting around through the clouds. Some shadows coming on the field right now. That one is fouled by Posey.
Here it comes. Line drive. That's going to bring Matt Kemp up. Here's how the Western Division race is shaping up in April. Brought to you by State Farm. D-backs in first place. The Dodgers second place. Padres in third. It's the Rockies in fourth. And wrapping it up on our list, the Giants. Runner on first base, nobody out. Fastball just misses, 1 0. He's hit 283 lifetime off the Cubs. Pauses, and now the 1 0. 1 0 is a fastball that runs away, 2 0. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Well, can't stay disciplined on that one, and it's a 2-1 count. Boy, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone right there. The hitter has to be ready for it, or he's got no chance to hit it. Here's the 2-1. 2-1 pitch, a sinker taken for a call, strike two. Uh, that's playing with fire. You're going to get burned if you leave pitches right there. He's ready. 2-2 on the way. Here's a swing and a liner to left center. And that's going to be a base hit for Kemp. Well, with that, let's see what Andrew McCutcheon can do with it. He's at the plate. That's a fastball away, but he goes out and hooks it into left field for a base hit. Kemp on at first base. Posey's on at second. It's swung on. Hit by McCutcheon. And it's in there. Base hit. Here comes Posey for the plate. And Posey scores. Well, that's three consecutive hits he's given up. He can't be out of gas yet. He just has to bear down and get somebody out. They don't want to go to the bullpen this early in the game. Here's the delivery. Sinker misses badly, 1-0. Last year, for him, 286 against the Cubs. Spins on a throw behind the runner. At the belt, the 1-0. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. One away. And they'll try and hold the runners second and first. They stay. A chance here to take a look at the Rockies and how they're ranking in the National League right now. First in triples, first in strikeouts, and they're the number two team in doubles. That ability to drive the ball down the line in the gap, but also that hustle to take the extra base really pays off. One away. Here's Dan Ugla. Well, the most underrated player in baseball, Dan Uggles, established himself as one of the best second basemen in baseball with the power that he has. He led the Marlins in home runs and RBIs in 2010. Fouled off. Foul ball! And as John was talking about with Uggla, the career numbers, 105 RBIs. 
33 home runs, both career highs. How about the fact that he's the only second baseman in the history of the game to have four oh. seasons of 30 or more home runs, and he's done it in four consecutive seasons. Swing and he crunches this one deep right center field. A huge three run homer puts them up by two. Look at the win expectancy graph after that big three-run shot. Now, Gary looked like he was setting on that pitch. He got it and drove it out of the park. And what they're going to want to do in this ball game now is take advantage of that and build that momentum up. Now, they need to still be aggressive out there and go right after it. Now, credit this Colorado offense, lightening the burden on the pitching staff, giving them a little bit of margin for error, Gary. One out, base is empty. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. First pitch fastball, misses badly that time, 1-0. This is, Steve, I guess, with that big fly, the inning these guys were hoping for. Well, that's exactly right, Gary. I mean, you want to have the big inning. When you get that opportunity, put a number up on the board. Misses outside for ball two. He has hit 240 lifetime against the Cubs. And that one's in there for a strike, two and one. The pitcher showing that he can effectively throw strikes on the inside part of the plate. The hitter now has to make an adjustment, possibly opening up for that pitch next time. Ball three. Here's the two-one pitch. And now Hanley Ramirez with a three-one count. Look for him to try and really rocket one. Well, even though you're three and one in the count, you still have to be patient at the plate. Make him throw a quality pitch. If he does, be ready for it. And if you're the pitcher, you better not throw anything down the middle and hope he's taking it because he can take you out of the yard. And here's the three two. And that one is going to be outside. And that is ball four. And now you've got a base stealer on. Well, for Hanley Ramirez, let's check out his numbers last season. Second in stolen bases, seventh in batting average, and of course he was in the top ten in on-base percentage, working the count. That's a big part of his game. Get a good hitter's count. If they don't want to give you a strike, take the walk. One down, runner at first. First pitch to him. Catcher can't control it. Gets away from him. So they can't make the play. But Gary, to make the error right there, you just don't want to do that. It's just not good baseball. 1-0 pitch is a fastball high, 2-0. Well, the second inning, he's uh, run into a little bit of a problem right here, Gary. Over 20 pitches, and that's certainly going to come off the back end of this game. So don't expect him to go deep. Comes set, now the 2-0. Fastball misses high, and it's 3-0. Well, that's just some good old country hardball right there. Forcing fastball up in the zone. Line shot into center field. And another one. It's contagious. Ramirez around third, headed for the plate. And the run is in. Colorado continues to deliver. Because the defense needs to stop right now. They need to put up an out here. This offense just has been relentless this inning. 
Now Joey Votto batting with a runner on first. Steve, we've seen them continue to charge it up at the plate, and it doesn't look like they're going to be stopped. Now that last hit puts a little bit more daylight in this lead right now, Gary. They keep tacking on early. Pitch on the way. A liner headed for the hole. One. But he'll hang on to that, so they will get one. Take a look at the RBI leaders last year, courtesy of State Farm. Number one, Albert Pujols. Second is Carlos Gonzalez. In the third spot, Joey Votto. Fourth spot held by Ryan Howard. Number five guy, that's Dan Ugla. Now these are the kind of guys that decide games right here. They thrive on situations with runners on base to come up and deliver, and they have been getting it done. Oh! It's hit foul by Gonzalez. Here's the delivery. Pitch out. Nothing doing, though. Swinging and a miss, and it's now one and two. One two pitch coming. Lined up the middle. Banks. Throws on the first side is retired. They strike five times and now back in front. The Rockies have gained the upper hand here. And if you just joined us, our broadcast of Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. With John Cruck and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. It's Sosa at the plate. That one's wide. Strasburg missing. one on the way. Up the middle it goes. Throw will pull him off the bag. He is safe at first. Oh, he has thrown it away, safe all around. Mm -mm -mm, bad throw. Well, look for them to keep an eye and hold him close at first base here. He's fast, and they're going to try to get him in scoring position to see if they can't get back in the ballgame. Otto over there. He'll have to stay tight. Strasburg delivers the 1-0 pitch. He gets Wilson to swing. Strike one. That changeup away is one of the most effective pitches because when the hitter's fooled, he starts to pull off the ball. He can only hit an inside pitch. He can't possibly reach the outside pitch unless he breaks down his swing. Strasburg gets set and delivers. And it's taken outside by Wilson for a ball. Well, that's where you look for a changeup from the pitcher away in the strike zone. If they look for it and get it, they can really shoot that thing the other way and do some damage. All three. Strasburg misses for a ball. A two-seam fastball is such an effective pitch. One, because it gets ground ball outs. But two, it sets up his other pitches. Now the pitch to Wilson. And it goes foul. And he heads down to first base. That's ball four. Well, that's good plate discipline by the hitter right now. Good pitch recognition. Laying off the ball out of the zone. And it's Billy Williams leading the MLB in batting average.
No one out yet. Runners at first and second. And Williams settles in. Here's oh. the delivery. And Strasburg can't get him to swing at that one. It's going to be a little bit low. Well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year, and obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense and somebody they've really come to rely upon. The 1-0 now. Taps oh. this one foul off oh. to the left. Called strike over the heart of the plate. One and two. Posey calls for the pitch. Fastball in there. Called third strike. One out. Well, that's a big first out of this inning. Now let's see if he can come back and get out of this thing unscathed. More MLB coming your way this Wednesday. We'll see Josh Hamilton and the Tampa Bay Rays and the Chicago White Sox roll into town. You can watch all the action starting at 4 o'clock Eastern. Runners on first and second with one out. First pitch on the way. Hold that on. one's wide. Strasburg missing. On the way, a line drive towards short. And that is in there. The tying run is on base. And he scores. Leave a pitch over the center of the plate like that, you're going to pay for it. Uh, no doubt about it. Big leaguers take advantage of those kinds of mistakes. Catcher up to the plate. They are keeping the pressure on here. This offense knows it's got... It's got a chance to get back into this game. Well, with the bats like we just saw, you know they're gaining some confidence right now, cutting the deficit and getting themselves a little bit closer. Let's see if they can take the lead. One out with runners at first and second. And the first pitch. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Oh. It's taken for a ball. Bottom dropped out on Kane's pitch. Got back to first. Gets down. The go-ahead runs on base. And Wilson is in. Good pitch down low, Steve, but a better at-bat. Well, he did a real nice job going down in the swing to get that low ball to be able to pick up the hit. Men on one out. The first pitch, smash towards the middle. Oh, Ramirez a dive. He's up and he falls on to second for the force. What a play! They pick up a couple of runs on two hits. They strand no one. The Cubs will try to hold and continue to chip away. Middle of the lineup coming along. It's Buster Posey standing in. He singled and later scored in his last time up. He deals. Ball. That one's in the dirt. Nice stop. Now the 1-0 pitch. 
Swung on, that is hit. Good baseball and a good job. Let's take a look. Uh, you know, we talk about team in baseball, and that's where you see it a lot of times on defense. And Matt Kemp digs in with one out. Well, and since taking over full-time, Matt Kemp in 2010 saw his on-base percentage at the lowest it's ever been in his career. But I really think, though, that this guy can be an absolute star in baseball once he sets his mind to it. But the mind has to be right. If it is, he's going to take off. Now Kemp gets set. Sinker swung on, missed 0 and 1. You guys talking about Matt Kemp? It's tough looking at a season like he had where all the numbers dropped. John, the on base percentage you mentioned was just 310. Well, you know what? The strikeout rates went up as well, and his stolen base success rates went down. To me, that points to instincts. Here's a guy who was a big basketball player, now an athlete playing uh, baseball, but I think he lacks some of the instincts to be successful and make adjustments. Here's what's uh, next for the Cubs. This Colorado series ends today. Padres come into town, kicking off a homestead. That's a team that's been really putting it all together lately. That'll be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And after that, they face another competitive team at home, the Los Angeles Dodgers. So quite a few home games they'll be looking to capitalize. To the plate, here comes Andrew McCutcheon. Career average, 337 off the Cubs. Base is empty with two outs. Here's the pitch. Oh! Can't get him to chase it. That's low. Ball one. So if you're going to miss, this is where you want to miss. Throw that breaking ball at the bottom of the strike zone. If the hitter swings and puts it in play, it's a ground ball out. The 1-0 pitch. Strike one. Now one ball, one strike. He watched that fastball that was in there. That's a great pitch right here. Pounding the strike zone, going up and away. A pitch he could catch up with. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Good looking fastball. Call the ball though, 2-1. Two one pitch is a slider taken for a call strike two. Down, down, down. It's all about location. That breaking ball down in the zone makes it very difficult on the hitter. And he strikes him out. He catches Andrew McCutcheon flat-footed. Good defensive half inning there. No hits allowed. Colorado five, Cubs four. It's the number nine spot. He's going to get us started here in the fourth. Oh. That one's wide as Kane misses. Here's the 1-0. -oh. Oh. Low for a ball, 2-0. Here's the 2-0. Oh, and he lays off on that one below the knees. 3-0 and oh now. Well, he might have the green light right here. 3-0. and oh. Let's see if he's swinging. Here's the pitch. A swing and a fly ball to left center field. And that gets the tying run on board. A chance here to check out how the Cubs ranked in the National League last year. Third in doubles, sixth in hits. And they were in the top ten in team batting average, an offense that made a lot of contact and got a lot of base hits. Anson is batting. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. A runner on first, no out. First pitch, here it comes. Strike Holds one. back, and it's a called strike on the inside part of the plate, 0 1.
Here's the pitch. Ball. That's low and outside. One and one. The one one. Strikes and the change up one and two now. Watches one high, two and two. And here's the pitch. You're Fastball out. swung out and missed. Struck him out, one away. That's a pretty fast pitch right there, and hard to get that much break on it. Well, he just looked overpowered on those two fastballs. John thought uh, the timing that time just didn't seem to be there in the at-bat. Well, and a, and a strikeout like that will give the pitcher a lot of confidence. And Santos is batting. Pitchers are judged by how they do in the postseason, and Matt Cain couldn't be any better than what he was in 2010, helping the Giants win their first World Series as the San Francisco Giants franchise. An unbelievable postseason for big Matt Cain. That swung on and flied to right. Two away. I think the uh, word about Matt Cain is ice in his veins. I mean, that's apparently why he is able to stay so calm all the time, no matter what the situation. For someone to do that at his age is really amazing, Steve. Yeah, I look at it the same way, Gear. I mean, such poise in the playoffs, and he had some of his best command in the playoffs as well. When the stress was the most and he was his most fatigued, he elevated his game and was at his best. Swing and lined up the middle. And that is in there, the go-ahead run on board. That's a great situation for some offense. Well, he clearly was anticipating fastball. He jumped all over it, ripping himself a base hit to center field. It's going to be Wilson now. Last time he walked and then came around to score. Two men on and two men out. Kane gets set and delivers. And it's taken outside by Wilson for a ball. Trying to get the ground ball out. You throw that two-seam fastball away from the hitter, trying to get him to reach and roll over it. He laid off of it here. Here's the 1-0. Hit in the air to left center. And Gonzalez. And that one's put away to retire the side. And heading to the dugout, it's Matt Kane. And next, it'll be the Rockies getting it going. We'll get a look at that leadoff hitter due up here in the inning. For those of you just joining in, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And it's Troy Tulowitzki now. He has a 286 batting average against the Cubs. The 1-0 now. Ball. Low for a ball, and it's 2-0. Now he's coming off of a game last night, a little bit disappointing. A couple of strikeouts, and he just expanded the strike zone and chased pitches off the plate. The pitch. He sends this one in the air towards center. And to the Witzke, has got a single. So that brings Dan Ugla to the plate. A chance to see where Troy Tulowitzki ended up in the rankings last season. Second in batting average with runners in scoring position. Third in batting average. And he really slugged the ball last year. Ranked in the top five in slugging percentage. That ability to drive the ball into the outfield gaps and down the lines. Puts himself in scoring position and drives in runs.
Well, Gary, you can look at it a couple ways. You can say, look, we've got the lead. Let's play for another big hit here. Or you can turn it on, put the pedal to the metal, and keep the offense going. I want to see him run. I think this is the time to get him going. He delivers. Good eye by Dan Ugla. He lays off that one to even the count. Six for 20. 300 average last year against the Cubs. Come set now the 1-1. 1-1 one, one. One, one pitch. A sinker taken for a strike. One and two. Let's see if he bounces back after last night's game striking out twice. See if he has a little bit more plate discipline. The one-two pitch. Ground ball by Ugla. Up with it now. Over to second for one. And two. Double play. Here's a look. 4-6-3 on the double play. Now that's the way they teach you, whether you're at second base or shortstop. One fluid motion, get it out of the glove, and get rid of it. And a brief look here at the Rockies and how they ranked in the National League last season. First in triples, second in slugging percentage, and as a team, they can put the ball in play, ranked third overall in batting average, really showing that ability and the depth of that lineup to hit for a high average. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. The pitch. He watches that fastball. It'll leave it up the count at 1-1. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Sinker just off the black, and it's 2-1. That's a good spot to miss with that thing, just off the corner. The 2-1 pitch. Slider called strike two. Down, down, down. It's all about location. That breaking ball down in the zone makes it very difficult on the hitter. Brings that curveball just about at him, but it's full. Wow, he had some good bite on that one right there. But the hitter wouldn't chase it. Here's the payoff pitch. A shot up the middle, and he gets it down. He's two for two now. State Farm brings you a look at the stolen base leaders last year. You can never underestimate the value of speed on the game. It's not only taking the extra base, but it's also the pressure it puts on the defense to force them to quickly make a play. Harper at the plate. Singled home a run in his last at bat. Two outs and a man on first. First pitch to him. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Doesn't get the call on the slider. One and one. Swing and a miss on a ball off the plate. Ball and two strikes. Well, you don't know if this was an accident or he meant to do it, but he threw a great pitch right there. A backdoor slider catches the outside part of the plate, and you talk about a defensive swing, nothing you can do with that pitch. A swing line to left center. And in there, he's two for three today. Time to capitalize for Colorado right now. Now this pitch just cuts right over the heart of the plate. The hitter handled it perfectly. Mm. That's one of those where you've uh, you've given in by making a bad pitch and, and really made it much easier for the hitter. Yeah, he's better than that. Bear down. And it's Joey Votto now. He's got the most home runs in the division. Votto gets set. Here's the pitch. First pitch way out of the zone. Ball one. 
Well, one thing they know they can count on in this lineup is his bat. He has been so consistently good. Here's the pitch. Here's a swing and a line drive. And he's there to retire the sun. They get two men in scoring position on three hits, but cannot bring them home. Fifth inning upcoming here at Coors Field. Five, six, seven hitters to get things started. And it's Billy Williams. A couple of RBIs thus far. Well, big production in this ball game. Already driving in a couple runs and a major factor in this offense. And Williams settles in. Here's the delivery. It's taken for a ball. Bottom dropped out on Kane's pitch. One zero on the way. Change up just off the black. Falls behind two and zero. Well, you gotta like the way he's changing speed and mixing up his pitches. He just missed though with that change up down and away. The 2-0 pitch, swing and a line drive. And that is in there. The tying run is on base. Well, a good start to this inning, but let's see if the guys behind him, after he starts out this inning with this single, can follow up and finish this inning off with some runs. And we've got Sandberg batting. What an explosive bat he's got. No one out and a runner on first. First pitch on the way. Oh, that one's wide as Kane misses. I got a lot star power right here, and a guy that can hit the ball out of the ballpark anytime he comes to the plate. The 1 0 pitch. This is swung on, lifted to deep right field. It's back towards the wall, and he still puts it away. Well, they followed the scouting reports. They moved the outfielders back before the play, and they were in exactly the right position to be able to make the catch. Good coaching. One out. Runner on at first. Here's the first pitch. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. And he'll try to make the play. Uglin has one. You want to make sure you at least get an out in this situation, but the runner is able to advance now in the scoring position. It's going to be Banks. He hit into a double play as last time. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Kane gets set and delivers. Fastball taken high, 1-0. Ready with a 1-0. He swings and drives this one. Kemp will field. And the sides retired as they head into the dugout. They pick up no runs on one hit and leave a man at second. Rocky still enjoying the lead. And Carlos Gonzalez to lead it off. The pitch hit in the air to center field. Wilson will field. And he grabs it in his tracks. State Farm takes a look at the lineups with a pop in their bat from last season. The Reds number one. The Rockies in second. In third, the Brewers. Fourth, D-backs. And number five, the Phillies rounded up. Well, anybody can be pitched to. The, the problem is with this team, one of the top slugging percentage teams in the league last year is when you make a mistake, they seem to end up for extra bases with this club. Everyone in this lineup has some sort of power. Even if it's not home run power, they have gap power. And that's a vital part of any team's offense. He swings, hits a ball to right field as he ranges in and comes up with it. And here's Matt Kemp. One for two in the ballgame.
Two outs and nobody on. Now Kemp gets set. Strike it's strike one. Kemp made contact on the fastball. Here's the pitch. Hit on the ground. Banks throws the first side is retired. And a good defensive half inning. Three up, three down. Colorado five, Cubs four. Bottom of the order to get things started. Up again there, DH. He's ready to start out here in the sixth inning. The first pitch. It's taken for a ball. Bottom dropped out on Kane's pitch. But if you're going to miss, this is where you want to miss. Throw that breaking ball at the bottom of the strike zone. If the hitter swings and puts it in play, it's a ground ball out. Ball Fastball just misses, and he falls behind 2-0. And here's a fastball for a called strike, two and one. A nice four-seamer right there. That one's clearly on the outside corner. He hit the spot. That one on the ground played by Votto. So, with nobody out, he's on board. Well, anytime you can get on base with no outs to start an inning, you know that an extra base hit will probably score you. But even if the batter behind you can figure out a way to get on base, now you have the potential for a huge inning. Runner on first. First pitch on the way. And he lays one down here. It's picked up. In time for the out. You have to be willing to do things for the team. That's what he does right there, getting a quality sack bunt down, getting a runner in scoring position, and getting praise from his teammates. One on, one out. And the first pitch. That's at the knees for a called strike. Well, when you throw the fastball, that's where you want it to go. Now you can elevate a pitch next time around. No balls, one strike. Here's Kane. And he looks at one in there for a strike, nothing in two. He delivers. Good slider that time. Ruled the ball. One and two. Well, this broke a little bit too much out of the zone right here for a ball, but he's got to bring it back in. Rain that thing in a little bit. Hard slider misses. Two and two. Hit on the ground over to shortstop. Fielded by Ramirez. On to first, that's out number two. Well, tomorrow's headlines are going to be written right now. Had a base hit his last time up. Two outs and a runner on second. Now the first pitch. That swung on and flied to right. Put away to retire the side. So they pick up a hit, but leave a man at second and fail to score. And next, it'll be the Rockies getting it going. Bottom three, due up next. Here's Andrew McCutcheon at the plate. He hit 442 last season against the Cubs. Here's the pitch. Just missed with the fastball, 1-0.
Swung on line to right center field. In there, and this is going to be trouble. This one finds its way around, rolling all the way to the wall. So with nobody out, they get a runner at third. Well, this is the way you want to kick off an inning right here. He hits the ball right out of the box. He's thinking triple, and that's what he gets. And it's Troy Tulowitzki at the plate. Only one batter gets one more than he does in this lineup. McCutcheon's on at third. Pitch on the way. Starts him out with a sinker for a strike. that one alone. Troy Tulowitzki, good patience, even count. Swing and a miss on the slider. One and two. Well, this one here was no doubt about it. The late break on that slider. I mean, what a devastating pitch, and the hitter just couldn't catch up. Slider, that's taken, strike three, one away. Well, good late-breaking movement on that slider. Down and away, exactly where you want to pitch it. He gets the punch out. Runner over at third base for Dan Ugla. And guys, when you take a look at Dan Ugla, there's really not one thing in his game that you look at and you say, wow, he doesn't have the great speed, he doesn't have the 40 home run power, but a consistent home run hitter and a consistent RBI guy, what more can you ask from a middle infielder? Well, you see something new in this game every day, Steve. They're going to intentionally put him on to face one of the best hitters in the game. And you've got to really question this strategy, Gary. I mean, I don't know why you do this less. Perhaps maybe you saw something in the scouting report. They better hope it doesn't backfire. So that will put Hanley Ramirez at the plate. He's the best base stealer leading the ball club in steals. Douglas the runner at first. McCutcheon's on at third. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Gets another one down. That'll score a run. He's the guy on this team that they go to. If they need a stolen base, he's the man. Well, anytime you're a hitter and you can get three hits in a game, you're going to see that average start creeping up to where you want it to be. And he's on now with one out. Harper in the box now. Throw the direction here, Steve, for this lineup to stay in charge. Right now they are. Here, we just saw a big hit right there, and it points out how critical it is at this time of the game to have somebody who can step up and get the job done in a clutch situation. Right and now it comes down to can their bullpen hold this lead. 0-1 oh, count as that started off with a strike. Steve, exactly right. you got to believe what they're thinking about is put-away time now. Well, that's right. It's not just about the offense. It's going to be about their pitching as well. They're going to win as a team or lose as a team. Let's see if they can win as a team. And in there for a base hit. He's 3 for 4 today. Douglas scores. Well, a guy that just continues to swing the bat well in this ballgame. Three hits right now so far. And it comes with one out in the inning. Can it start a rally? And 
Joey Votto will be looking to drive something in here. And Steve, the offense continues to produce. They keep building on it. You know, after giving up runs like that, this is where the pitcher has to bow his neck and shut down the opponent. Damage control. This is where you uh, begin to wonder whether this game is going to start slipping away or not. Votto gets set. Here's the pitch. Fastball misses away. 1-0. Well, Gary, to pick up what you were saying, you know, this game's not slipping away. They're still in it, but the pitcher has to make a pitch right now and get this guy out right now. Let's see if he can get it done. Lost the grip on that sinker, and it's 2-0. and And in this matchup, lifetime 281 off the Cubs. Now the 2-0 pitch. Ball three. Ball three. Joey Votto lays off it, and now in real danger of putting him on with a free pass. Wow, he had some good bite on that one right there. But the hitter wouldn't chase it. Swings and hits this one deep down the line and left. Williams will field as he drops back and puts it away. And that will keep the runners. They have to stay at first and second. Here's a look at the State Farm leaderboard. The players with the most triples last year. I'll tell you what, speed puts so much pressure on the defense, and these guys can certainly do that as they force the other team to quickly make decisions and make plays and try to shut down a running game. Two down. Runners at first and second. The pitch. Oh, wow. Outside as Gonzalez takes it for a ball. Carlos Gonzalez swings and misses. Count is even. Can't connect on that curve. Falls behind. One and two. One two pitch coming. Foul. It's hit foul by Gonzalez. Ground ball. Banks. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. His arm's going to get sore if he keeps that count up. 22 pitches to get out of the inning. The Rockies ahead by a few. It's going to be Wilson now. And here's the first one. Line fair down the line and right. It's a fair ball headed into the corner for extra bases. Well, what a great swing right there. And anytime you can put yourself in scoring position with no outs, you're looking for big things to happen. And it's Billy Williams. No one out and a runner on second. And Williams settles in. Here's the delivery. And Kane misses. Well, he tried to go outside on the outside corner with that fastball right there. Just got a little bit off the plate. He's got to be careful, though. You don't want that hitter to get his arms extended. Here's the 1-0. Swings and misses at the fastball. That'll even the count at one. Here's the delivery. 
That one swung on, hit in the air deep to left field. One away. Now the runner will have to hold at second. Well, the hitter just missed this one. He's going to want to have this one back. The left fielder able to range back and put it away. One out, a runner on at second base. And the first pitch lined right at the second baseman. That's one out. Now on to second, safe there. Trying for that double play, but they'll get the lead runner. That's just batter versus pitcher right now, Gary. Drove in a run earlier in the game. Runner on second and two outs. And the first pitch. It's taken for a ball. Bottom dropped out on Kane's pitch. Pauses, and now the 1-0. A swing and a fly ball in the left center field. And Gonzalez. And that's the third out. That'll do it. They pick up no runs on one hit and leave a man at second. Rockies still enjoying the lead. And it's Buster Posey standing in. He has, uh, he's not hit well in this particular matchup. Just uh, 167 off the Cubs. Here's the pitch. Posey gets the bat on it. Banks. Wide throw. Can't get him at first base. And he throws it away and everybody's safe. Oh, and a wild throw. Now Matt Kemp. Posey is on at first. He deals. Fastball in there. 0-1. Oh, well, that's a quality fastball right there. Just pounding the strike zone, down and away. He had no chance to put that one in play. Here it comes. Big swing. Sends this one on a long, high arc to right field. Goodbye, home run. Two run digger. The lead is five thanks to that two run shot. Well, another one right there, Gary, and that's two home runs and for this team today, and it's they're spreading the wealth. Well, this game's going the way the Rocky Hunt right now, Gary. They've got the lead, and now they know they want to keep adding to it and let their pitchers do the job. Nobody on base and nobody out. Get the new count on McCutcheon. Here it comes. Ball. First pitch, a sinker away, 1-0. Steve, this lineup uh, combined with their pitching right now in a position to be unstoppable. Well, no question about it. In the other dugout, the manager's got to be thinking, what am I going to do with this pitcher? Should I get him out of there? Here's the 1-0. And Andrew McCutcheon swings and misses on that one. That'll even up the count. One one on the way. Here's a called strike on the outer half, and it's one and two. This is where you want to go with the breaking ball to the outside corner. Paint the black. Get the call. The hitter gave up on it. He got the pitch he wanted. Slider 
slider called third strike up number one. Well, good late breaking movement on that slider. Down and away, exactly where you want to pitch it. He gets the punch out. And Troy Tulowitzki, he'll dig in with one away. Called out on strikes in his last appearance. Now to Lewitsky in the box. Ball. Too low on that one for a ball. 1-0. And a great year in 2010. Got better in the month of September with Troy Tulowitzki. He and Carlos Gonzalez almost single-handedly got the Colorado Rockies into the postseason. And if they did, the Giants wouldn't have been the world champs. 1-0 is a fastball that runs away to an 0. Talking about Tulowitzki in the month that he had uh, John said September, September 15 homers, 40 RBIs, hit 322. You know, in that extraordinary performance, he slugged over 800 in that month. And what did it do? It led to a contract extension through 2020. He's going to be a Rocky for a long time. Strike Fastball two. called strike two. There's a reason they put the number one down when signaling for the fastball. It has to be your number one pitch, your best pitch. That's what he saw right there. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Sandberg out number two. Team leaders in home runs. How'd they do it last year? Well, let's take a look at our State Farm leaderboard. Number one, the Reds. The Brewers second. In third, the D-backs. The Rockies fourth. And number five, the Phillies rounded up. Well, this team lives and dies with the home run ball. They were one of the top teams in the league last year at hitting the ball out of the ballpark. And they seem to want to continue that in this season. They have so much power and depth throughout this lineup that every one of these guys can hurt you. Two out, space is empty. And here's the delivery. Watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike. Tough pitch to hit right here. When you run this fastball up and away, you have to elevate your swing to get on top of it. He ends up taking the pitch. Ugla lays off the low pitch. Numbers over his career. 255 off the Cubs. The 1-1 on the way. Hit in the air. Oh, a foul ball. The 1-2 on its way. Fastball called. Strike three in the side is retired. Well, they add a couple more runs here and extend their lead even further. Colorado up five. If you're just joining in, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crock bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. It's going to be Banks. Strike Kane one. finding the zone. No swing on that strike. Well, it's getting late right now. They're down a bunch, so they need a big inning here. They can't wait till the ninth to try to come all the way back. They need to try to do something now. Strike 
Looks at that curveball. That's a strike. He's behind 0-2. There's two quick strikes. Now he's ahead 0-2. Let's see if he goes out of the zone to see if he can get the hitter to chase. Foul straight back. Drill towards the hole, and Votto makes that play. Time! One out, nobody on. Kane gets set and Great delivers. Block. There's a strike at the knees on one. Look, Gary, with one out right here, they still have time in this inning to try to generate some runs. They need to score here in this eighth inning and not leave it all to the ninth. He swings, hits a ball to right field. Now it's two down. Anson in the batter's box. Sacrificed his last time around. Base is empty and two down. Here's the first pitch. Slider swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Uh, Gary, I think right now that uh, you've got to consider trading outs for runs if, if you're pitching. I mean, Listen, I just keep getting outs right now. You have the countdowns there. You only need four outs left to win this ballgame. Ball! Lays off the change up. Good pitch, but it's one and one. Well, a lot of guys would swing at that pitch right there, that change up down in the strike zone, but the hitter luckily stayed off that one. Here's the one-one one pitch. Swings and grounds this one foul wide a third. That one on the ground played by Votto. And he'll step on first to retire the side. It's the kind of inning the defense likes. Three up, three down. Rockies still enjoying the lead. And Hanley Ramirez to bat. Ramirez settles in first pitch watches a fastball that's in there 0 and 1 now that he's established the bottom of the strike zone it gives him so many options he can go to the breaking ball or climb the ladder with another fastball liner towards the hole Anson and that's out number one stepping in the bag State Farm takes a look at last year's leaders in on-base percentage. In order to score runs, you have to get base runners, and these guys understand that. They find ways to get on. They'll take a hit. They'll get hit by a pitch. They'll take a walk. They'll do whatever they have to do to get on base and lead to a run scored. Base is empty with one away. And here's the first one. Ball. First pitch fastball misses badly that time. 1-0. A great movement on that two-seam fastball. Trying to start it on the corner. Running it off the plate. The hitter just laid off. The 1-0 pitch. Swung on and ripped towards second. The catch is made. And that's out number two. And it's Joey Votto now. Looking back to last season. It was a 259 average against the Cubs. Two outs, space is empty. Here's the pitch. A high pop up. And that one's put away to retire the side. 
And they aren't able to get anything going in this half inning. Three up, three away. Rockies, nine. Cubs, four. And Santos is batting. He'll start us out here in the last inning of regulation. Here's the first pitch. And Kane has him 0-1. Gets there with that one a called strike. Well, a non-save situation right here in the ninth inning. And they just want to get outs right now. Try to get the first out of the inning. Take away hope as the other team needs to score a bunch of runs. You get an out, you can really deflate them. Fastball swung on. Can't make contact. And behind on the count 0-2. He has that little running action on that two-seam fastball that busts in on the hands of the hitter. It's a tough pitch. Now they have a chance to go to the outer part of the plate. Oh. Slider misses, and it's one and two down. Strike three called on the fastball. What a way. Well, that's paint in the black right there. He just throws it to the outside corner exactly where they wanted to get the punch out. It's Sosa at the plate. We'll try it again here. Just one for three thus far. One out. Base is empty. Kane gets set and delivers. to get him to go after the slider one and one when you throw a breaking ball like this you want to start it on the corner and break it off the zone trying to get the hitter to chase the hitter didn't take the bait here and that's on the outside corner one and two this is where you want to go with the breaking ball to the outside corner paint the black get the call the hitter gave up on it he got the pitch he wanted the one two pitch you're out Fastball got him two down. That's how you use your fastball, using it very effectively. Two consecutive punch outs. It's going to be Wilson now. Had a double his last time up. Two outs and nobody on. First pitch. Shot towards the hole. And that's going to be a base hit for Wilson. Oh, this is great patience at the plate. He lets the ball get deep in on the plate, comes in toward his hands, keeps his hands inside the ball, and drives it the other way. You make yourself a whole different ball player if you can take the ball the other way as he just did. Runner on first, two away. And the first pitch. That one goes foul. Oh. That one's wide as Kane misses. Well, this guy's really eating up some innings for this team. He's over the 60 pitch mark right now. And I tell you what, that's a lot of pitches for a middle relief pitcher. Now the 1-1 pitch. Change up just off the black, and it's 2-1. and one. 
Well, that pitch right there, that change up away. If a guy's looking for it, that's a great pitch to be able to hit the other way with some power. The 2 1 pitch. Strike change two. up. Oh. Called strike two. And this game's history. Well, Jerry, the Rockies showed up to play today, did what they needed to do, and able to take the win. Now let's take a look back on this ball game and uh, see who our player of the game is. Dan Ugly, an exceptional offensive game. When a lot of guys hit meaningless home runs, home runs that don't decide the game, have nothing to do with the outcome of the game, but not in this one. He had only that one hit, but that home run sealed the deal for his team. You can't find a more appropriate reason to be named the player of the game. And Steve, they're able to win this game where they're handling. A little bit of home cook in here that was right on from the beginning. Now, Gary, as a player, you always like having the 10th man out there, and these fans provided that today. They were into it. And that's going to do it for us here. For Steve Phillips, John Kruk, I'm Gary Thorne. Take care.